Here's the billboard that blew up Marshmello. But before I get into that, here's the backstory on one of the biggest DJs on the planet. Marshmello, real name Christopher Comstock, has released hit after hit with artists like Bastille, Anne-Marie, Khalid, and Logic. But before Marshmello, Comstock released music under a different name. Then he started to experiment with a more melodic, electronic sound. The thing is that fans in the electronic community aren't always forgiving of big changes in sound. And this new sound was a big departure from what Comstock fan base knew him for. So Comstock and manager Mo Shalizzi devised Marshmello. Marshmello would be 100% about the music, a symbol instead of a face for fame to latch onto. Shalizzi and Comstock quickly built a large underground following for Marshmello on SoundCloud. It would actually be three and a half years before Marshmello would have a radio record. During that three and a half year buildup, Shalizzi and Comstock had a genius marketing idea for the spring of 2015 that would launch Marshmello into the spotlight. With only only a $5,000 budget, Shalizzi decided to purchase the marketing rights for the billboard at the exit of Coachella. And you're probably wondering who would want a billboard at the exit of Coachella? No one's gonna see it during the festival. But Shalizzi realized that everyone would have to walk past the billboard on their way out. And it would be the last one that everyone sees before they exit the festival. There's an effect in psychology called the peak end rule, where people judge an experience based on its peak level of emotion and the end of the experience. By advertising on the billboard, at the exit of Coachella, Shalizzi had control over how hundreds of thousands of people would feel at the end of the festival. So what do you do with all that power on a limited $5,000 budget? Here's the billboard that Shalizzi and Comstock went with. I'm working hard now so my future daughter doesn't have to sell detox tea on social media. Fucking genius. This billboard ended up generating more buzz for Marshmello than the artists who played the main stage. The billboard blew up all over social media and almost every EDM magazine featured the image. And here's the part that's genius. Marshmello didn't even play Coachella that year. He stole the festival without playing a single song. Here are three takeaways from Shalizzi and Comstock's marketing idea for Marshmello that you can use for your own content. Number one is be creative with your budget. Even a few hundred dollars can spark a viral moment if you tap into something that truly resonates with people. Number two, combine the moment with your message. At the time, every Instagram influencer was pushing some something related to detoxification or detox product. Detox tea is so specific, yet everyone knew what the billboard meant. By combining the moment with the message, you're making your content that more shareable. And number three, this might be the most important one, you don't have to be invited to the party to leave an impact. Marshmello wasn't big enough at the time to be offered a set at Coachella, and Shalizzi and Comstock said, fuck it. How can we shift the focus to Marshmello from the outside? Don't get petty, get creative. Thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and check out my podcast, The Ox, for in-depth daily insights that I don't share here.